So, YouTube, um, after the other day when I uh, made my little candle heater, I said I was going to get around to doing like a waste oil burner. And uh, this is it. I'm actually not using waste oil, I'm just using a bit of sunflower oil. Because I happen to have some to hand. So, just keeping the line primed. But what I've done is I've used some 4 mil copper tube. And I've wound a coil. Oh, it's leaking a little bit. I think I pushed a bit too much oil through. Wound it, comes in through the bottom, coils up, and then top of the coil comes back down up through the center and I've made a small like um, little cone uh, out of this stuff it's a bit of shim type stock for gardening labels the only reason why I used this was because it was thin and I could braise it to the end of this formal copper tube but as you can see all I'm doing here is uh, feeding through Little pipe and it's taking it all quite quickly. Yeah, I'm not sure <laughs> how much heat that's giving off, but um, this is the second, well, actually, my third attempt at producing a coil. I did this rather shoddy thing freehand. Um, the idea was it, it was longer through the centre. And you sort of let it on its side so as the flames came up through the middle. I didn't like that very much, it wasn't it wasn't very good, it just tended to flare up and cause havoc. So which you can see if I can do that again. So it is taking the oil. Um, I'm just gonna let that run out now. Yeah, so this is my third attempt. Uh, my second attempt was this thing. Um, it's the same, exactly the same idea I had, but um, it doesn't have the little drip tray and it's got more coils. As I found that one there with the fewer coils, um, it was getting hot, but it was getting very hot very quickly and then sort of spitting the oil. And uh, I had a load of look, oil spat over my arm so I changed my mind about that particular one and oh this is still burning so this has been burning sort of unattended I've been turning my back on it and all I'm doing is just drip feeding oil into the top of the four mil push a little bit through because I think it's getting a bit low Much. So, yeah, if I had a way of jamming the syringe now, I could have a little reservoir. But this is working really well. I'm not sure if you can see the bottom without me burning my phone. But there's just a little, a little pan, like a little cone at the bottom, braised onto the end of that tube to allow any excess oil. Because I did find it was losing a little bit, allow any excess oil to pull in there and burn uh, judging by the look of that there is a little drip still down here I mean you can see up in there the little pan, looks like the pan's mounting a little bit so I might have to maybe machine something out of a bit of a lump of copper that I've got kicking around, I think I've got some lump of coppers in there or a bit of copper, if not I'll just have to melt some down and make a little billet and what I might do is machine like a little bowl just so as the oil can sit in there and burn but this thing can be just drip fed like so and it's quite happy oh. I think I might have waited a bit too long to get some more oil into this see if it's going to go out or not or if it's going to come back Funny feeling it's gonna end up going out. Oh no. There we go. Oh, it must have been pretty close. But there is definitely like a fine line between the right amount and too much as it tends to die down with too much and it dies down without enough and then when it gets sort of between 
It's quite a nice little steady flame. And I'm not sure, entirely sure how much heat this is giving off, but must be some. Well, actually, that's pretty. Hmm. That could be placed within a tube, and I imagine it will heat it up a nice little tube. Looks like flu. Yeah. Quite pleased with that.